is Minnie from Stupid Mini Tube, and today we have a very special video. So today we are going to be adding some new games onto our Nintendo Classic Mini NES. But I won't be doing this alone, I'll be doing it with my dad. So take it away. Hey everyone, um, as Minnie said, we've got a really special video for you today. Our Mini NES that we did a little while ago. Um, we've found out that we can add new games to this mini NES. Awesome. I know. <laughs> um, so big, massive shout out to Cluster, who has made this amazing little um, app program that you can use on your PC to add new games. So... Thank, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks Cluster. Awesome job. Um, so we're going to start off. So first of all, you need to download the program. So you can use the link below to download it. And once you've got that unpacked, unzipped into a folder like this, and then you've got like you'll different. have um, you'll have this program here called Hackchi. So what we're going to need to do is open this up, and this is what we see. This is our NES Mini Pimp Tool. The version we're using is 2.05. Now, at the moment, Cluster is constantly updating this. <laughs> um, so by the time you get to download it, there may already be uh, a later version, but this version is working great. Um, so thanks for that. So the next thing we're gonna need um, before we do anything with this tool is some games. Now, um, from a legal point of view, um, any ROMs, backup <laughs> ROMs that you download or get, you must own the original cartridge uh, to do this. So we've got a couple of games here that we've got the cartridges for and we're going to add those. So first thing we're going to do is in the program, click on add more games at the bottom. Uh, oh. Navigate to where you have your, your games. So we've got two here, we've got DuckTales and we've got Miss Pac-Man. So we're going to add these two and they've added in here. So what we can do now is we click on um, our first title, DuckTales. So across here in the game options we can add a few details to it. Um, so we can say who the publisher was, uh, DuckTales was Capcom um, and we can also download the box art, the picture you'll see in the Minionaires. So if we click on Google uh, it'll do a quick search to find all the images for that game. So we're just going to pick this one. You double click on that and it's added there. You can also change the release date if you knew the release date of the game. Um, I don't have that at hand at the moment, but quick wiki search will find that. And you can also change the max players, one player, two player, etc. So once that's done, we're going to quick do this again for <laughs> Miss Pac-Man, there she is. She's got lipstick. She's got lipstick, yeah. Well, she's a miss. Miss. <laughs> miss. <laughs> We're going to change the publisher to Tengen. 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 Okay, so we've got our two games now. Um, also here in the selected games, you can see original 30 games. Now, when we eventually get to upload these to our mini NES, if you have this unticked, the original 30 games uh, will disappear. So if you want to keep those, keep that ticked. Um, the word in the forums is you can add, um, some people have added over 90 uh, games to the mini there. So storage is pretty good wow. on this. Um, and with this amazing tool, you can add and remove uh, the games as you want. That, that, that's a lot of um, games in one little box. Tons. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Do, do you know the, the maximum? I don't think anyone currently knows the maximum, but it, it's it's over 90 for sure. Wow. So, what we're going to do next, um, once you've sorted out your games, down the bottom we've got Upload Selected Games to NES Mini. Click on this. The first time you'll get this, uh, what you're going to need to do is dump the kernel image of your Mini NES, which is basically the, uh, the software brains in your mini NES. Mm, nice. So do we want to continue? Say yes. Yes, please. Mr. Really Computer. easy step-by-step -step instructions here. Okay. Um, so what we can do here, um, 
steps. follow these instructions. Now, step five here, if we've not installed the driver from the driver folder, you can use the uh, Zadig uh, use the uh, Zadig util there to um, where is it driver? Here we go. And the driver is in here. So when you attach your mini NES, it'll ask for a driver. Um, got the mini NES driver exe, you can run that and install the driver. We've already done that, so we don't need to do this. We're just going to follow the first steps here. So what you will need is your mini NES, and you will need a USB cable, uh, like your, your power cable basically you use for your, your mini NES. So you plug it one end into your DC in. Make sure your power button is off, stated here. Uh, otherwise it we're won't going work. To, no, it won't work. Oh. We're going to plug our USB into our laptop here. You hold your reset button on the front of mini NES and press the power switch. Wait a few seconds, then you can release your reset button. And here it goes. We're going to dump the kernel now. It, it's going green. It's the green. Green to finish. At this point here, um, obviously, if you haven't installed the driver, um, previous versions um, automatically install the driver. Cool. Um, so we'll just dump the kernel now. Okay, the kernel is now finished. Uh, dump into your PC. Um, popped up a little message, which is fine. Do we want to continue? Yes. Now what you need to do is reflash the kernel with the, uh, the custom uh, changes made. So we're going to say yes. Yes, please. <laughs> now we are uploading the kernel. Okay, now that's finished. Uh, it takes a couple of minutes to do that. We can upload our new games. So yes, okay to this. And again, we're going to just repeat the steps here to get the, uh, the games on. So, he even says congratulations because we are so awesome. Because this program is so awesome. Yeah, yeah. So it said It's amazing. Yeah, it said congratulations to us because it loves us. So here we go. We are uploading our new games, and here we go. Um, it says now well. it's done. It says reading the uh, information here. Done. Wait until the power led. LED it goes out and restart. So watch your mini NES. I'm going to power it off. I'm just going to power it back on. It even says wow. So that is it. We have got those games. We've got our extra games on here. So we're now going to check it out to see if it's worked. It, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. So we are on the Nintendo Classic Mini NES game and yeah. We're going to see if our new games are installed. Yeah. So let's go across and there we go. There's DuckTales. Duck there's our new game that we've got there. DuckTales. Really awesome. Cool. Yeah. Beagle Boys. <laughs> let's go across and there is Miss Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> Miss Pac-Man. So that is awesome. Um, the lipstick is cool. Let's see if they work. Yeah. Here we go. <gasps> the Amazon. So this is it. So we can add a ton of games to this. Yeah. Um, Ducktales. Woohoo! Daddy loved this. Well, when when he was a boy. Did this you? is good, yeah. Played the uh, remastered version of this, which is really good. Oh no! I suck. <laughs> I suck at this. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, so there we go, that is awesome. That's. Um, and you click straight away. Yeah. So, really happy with that. We can add a ton of new games to the awesome mini NES. Um, the super awesome. Super awesome. They don't, yeah. they don't cause super daddy children, super daddy children for nothing. I died again, I suck at this. <laughs>
Okay, well, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, what about Miss Pac-Man? Miss Pac-Man, yeah, it's on there. We'll play that, we'll do a video for that one time. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Good bye! bye.